How would you know a race is nearing the end? Is it seeing Max Verstappen 20 seconds up the road? Is it the chequered flag? Or is it the measuring system that we use known as laps? The amount of laps you do differs from track to track due to track length, size, or even just the type of track. But across a weekend, you might see different types of laps labeled a number of different things. And first up is the formation lap. This is the lap that the drivers do before the race start with no overtaking that helps form the grid. Many drivers use this as an opportunity to warm up the tires, the engine, or the brakes, making sure everything in the car is up to temperature. But speedily onto one of the most thrilling things to see in Formula One, and that's a hot lap or a flying lap. It's something you probably hear more in practice or in quality, and this is when the driver is pushing for the fastest lap. And whilst they're on this lap, you might see their time start to light up. If you see the driver going purple, this means they are setting the fastest time overall in that session. And if you see the driver going green, this means that they are beating their personal best. And if you played F1, these two colours probably haunt you. But finally, onto the install lap. This is one medium speed lap that helps the team and the driver check the car all over. And this is usually done in practice or in testing. 